Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvoldogrim here and today I'm going to teach you how to play in just 2 mobile on your PC. And first of all, you need to have an emulator. What's an emulator? It's an application that uh, kind of emulates an Android device on your PC. There are multiple applications, the most popular one is Bluestacks, but I found uh, LD Player to be much better for my needs. If LD Player does not work for you, then you might want to look forward to Bluestacks, but LD Player works for me. You can download it from ldplayer.net for free, and I'm going to put a link to it down in the description. By the way, this is not a sponsored video in any way, it's just the app I'm using it might or might not work for you, I hope it does. After you install it, I'm, I'm not going to show the installation progress because it's straightforward, you just press next, next, next a few times. You're going to be greeted with this screen minus those two applications over here because those are installed of course. You'll need to log into your Google account because your Google account is going to be uh, the thing that saves your process. If you're on Android of course, if you're on iOS, I don't know, I don't use iOS and I haven't done it, but for Android... You're going to have uh, Play Games and Google, uh, and Google Play. You need to log in with your Google account on both. You need to download Ninjas 2 Mobile and then you'll be logged in with your Google account in Ninjas 2 Mobile and you can uh, catch back up on your progress as you left it on your mobile phone. Now, before we get into the app, we need to take a look at some settings for the, uh, uh, for the LD player. You open the settings thing over here and you have a few options. First of all, Go as low as you need to in terms of your PC. I'm pretty much running highest on everything because I can afford uh, it uh, uh, in terms of my PC capacities. But if it's running with lag for you, then you might want to lower them. Uh, I use the recommended things for CPU and RAM because uh, I, they seem to run more smoothly. Like I, I could give it 6 cores, I could give it uh, more RAM. But it seems to run better with the recommended ones. Let's let's switch it back. Okay. Other than that, uh, this management uh, should uh, be always checked in automatically expand when there is not enough space. Uh, but you should switch it uh, at some point to uh, manually uh, give this space and then expand this space. And you are going to enter a number and that's the amount of uh, gigabytes of memory you'll give uh, to this. And pretty much the more the better. I gave it 40 gigabytes of RAM, and I have 38 free. You can give. I can. I think you can get away with 10 or something like that. Now, getting into the basics, just make sure this one is enabled. Those two, I keep them disabled. Enable root permissions, just because if you ever uh, need something that needs root permissions, it's going to work fine. Other than that, it's not going to uh, bother you with anything. And uh, don't press this one. And in terms of those, uh, uh, if you want, uh, those are kind of uh, this kind of uh, preference pop up prompt when you want to exit. Uh, I'm going to keep exit directly here, by the way. And then microphone, you can use this uh, to uh, uh, kind of assign a microphone that you have yourself to use in other games. Of course, I'm not going to need it in just a mobile because there's not such a function, but in other games. But please, don't, don't play shooters on an emulator, don't, don't, don't be that guy, but if you need a microphone on whatever game, you can just pick from here whichever microphones you have connected. Uh, also, you can set the loudspeakers over here for your PC and the language, of course. In the properties, you can uh, select your model, I use this model of phone uh, and you have many options around here. Just try to pick the newest phone, I guess. And in terms of FPS, I'm going to run uh, it on a uh, high fra frame rate 90 uh of this model and uh, next into game settings uh disable this uh, v-sync because uh, it says that it will prevent screen tearing but uh, it actually causes screen tearing rather than preventing it uh i have those two checked in this one is irrelevant because i don't play shooters but whatever and uh the frame rate i keep it on default like 60 fps is decent and uh uh, getting it to highest, higher FPS can actually make games that don't support higher FPS lag. And uh, also enabling the high frame rate mod uh, is not going to uh, do much for you, but bother you if you're not playing those specific games that they recommend over here. Now, and in terms of resolution, uh, you are going to uh, just uh, select the one that your PC can take. I think it recommends the... Uh, a uh, bare minimum of graphics card that you need for all of them. Like you can keep it on the default if you want it to run smoothly. I keep it on 2K and 2K graphics. 
But yeah, this is pretty much it for the settings, and now let's uh, get into the game and uh, look at the key mappings. Because one of the most important things when you uh, want to play something on an emulator is the key mappings. Because this game is designed to kind of be played via touch screen. And we're going to try and bypass that. Keep in mind, it will not be the easiest thing in the world to play in just to mobile on PC, and it will take some time getting used to, but this might be helpful to people who uh, don't want to stay all day on phone, or at the same time... Uh, have lower end phones but higher end PCs. So we are into the game right now and over here we're going to find the uh, keyboard mapping. And this is the keyboard mapping that I have right now. First up, this is a move control. You can uh, drag it from the right here and just place it somewhere. But you can only have one move control and you don't need more of them. The move control is pretty much going to be the movement of your character. In other games, it will be how your character moves around the map. And in just a model, it will be the swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, swipe right. So I put my swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, swipe right. I put them on WASD. Just make sure you press it somewhere where it does not touch anything else that needs a specific button. And then I put space where my block is. So I'm going to block from space. And this is going to be pretty much everything my left hand does. I got like three or four, I got like three fingers on WASD as I need to use them, and my thumb is on space. Now, getting into all the other commands, I like to use the uh, numpad because it's at the same time very far from the uh, left hand, so I don't have problems with that. And uh, on the other hand, it's pretty, I guess, pretty made for this. First up, I got the plus and the enter on the tag buttons. There is the plus of the, and the enter on the numpad yet again. They are going to be uh, uh, over here. And yeah, by the way, to press any, everything else other than this, you just press, uh, you just grab a, sing, a simple touch and then you assign a key to it. Let's say this one. And you press it wherever and when you press this key, it's going to press it there. If you keep this key held, it's going to hold it there. But getting back to it. First of all, I got the zero. Num zero, you can see it over here for the basic attacks, the normal attacks. We're already swiping right with our left hand, so we're going to use normal attacks from the zero because it's the bigger one in the numbers. Uh, and you make sure you just don't put it uh, over something that needs something put on. I got this small uh, point key that's uh, uh, right to the zero key uh, on the super move because that's going to allow me to use the super move and that's pretty much something that I was not going to use anyway other than the super move. And I got the plus and the enter for tagins that you can see over here. I put them because they are kind of on the right of the numpad and they are big buttons on my keyboard, so I can just easily press them. And I got the abilities, the special one, special two and special three on the numbers one, two and three. And that's pretty much for the key setup. This might not be ideal, the ideal key setup for you. This might not be the ideal key setup in the world, but I, I get used to it, I guess. And I'm doing pretty fine with it. Let's let's uh, let's do a quick showcase of it. Oh come on, let's let's go on normal. Let me switch the team real quick because this team will just one shot too fast, and you'll not get to see the keys in action. Let's say. In terms of the key layout, you have. Uh, Options to uh, show them uh, during the game, but it's not going to show them like this. It's going to show them uh, much lighter. I guess it shows them while we enter or we get it bugged or something. We'll see. So yeah, let uh, let me know down in the comments uh, if this uh, key setup works for you. You can see that it's showing them. They are sh being shown, but they are very small. You can see nums on the abilities. Yeah, my tagging got interrupted, but that's not the fault of the pair playing it on PC. It happens on phone too. And yeah, I'm not very used to it. Like, I, I from time to time still look to the keys, but I guess I'll get used to it in time. And no, this is not optimal, this is not easier to play because the game is made to be played on uh, mobile. But like, if you're, uh, if you got uh, a low-end mobile phone and it's lagging a lot, then you might want to do this, I guess. And in terms of getting banned, I don't think there's any way you'll get banned for this thing. First of all, they have no way of knowing you're doing this thing. 
Like they have no way of detecting the people using god modes and you think they're going to detect you using your PC for this. And if somebody's gonna get banned, I'm going to get banned because I'm streaming it while doing it, so... Just follow the channel and see if I get banned and stop doing it, but uh, again, I don't think there's any risk of getting banned. Like, it's not a damn Call of Duty mobile where you have uh, a damn mice to uh, aim uh, at people. It's not going to hurt anybody and it's not a PvP game, so... Yeah, with all that being said, this is pretty much for this video. Thank you very much for watching, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content, dislike if you dislike it, maybe hit that bell button, let me know down in the comments if you got any questions, and I'll see you all in the next one.